My wife and I were walking down the street the other day and she asked me, would you leave me if there was another version of me? What? Is it just a simple innocent question? Or did she read something about multiverses? Should I ask? Will she be mad if I ask? <clears throat> did you read something about multiple universes, maybe? What? I guess you also didn't know that most probably there is another version of you and actually most probably there is another version of me and everyone else. Well, little did my wife know that the idea of multiverse or multiple universes has been in the public domain for some time. And by that I mean for a really long time. Back then, when there were no cars, not much medicines and even less food. Back then, when there was literally nothing what we have nowadays. Though, there was still something which we do not appreciate enough these days. And it's called... Time. Fuck! So even ancient philosophers talked about the infinite verse theory. And these philosophers have much more in common than you would think. Their names. Their fucking names. I don't even try to pronounce So, this guy claimed that from the infinite comes the principle of beings, which themselves come from the heavens and worlds. And several years later, or several years later, another philosopher came called Leucippus, whose life was probably not so exciting according to Wikipedia, was thinking of the following. What if there are innumerable words out there? Huh? This means that we can definitely attribute the concept to him, because compared to Anaximander, there is debate as to whether he believed in multiple words, and if he did, whether those words were coexisted or followed each other. But fast forward to today, we have much more sources to read about the idea of multiple universes. But what is this multiverse thing at all that my wife is not aware of? Well, imagine the universe as a giant puzzle. In the multiverse idea, each puzzle piece represents a different universe with its own set of rules and conditions. These universes can be similar to ours or completely different. For example, in one universe gravity might be stronger, while in another humans might not exist at all. The multiverse theory suggests that there are countless universes out there, all existing at the same time, but we can only see and experience our own puzzle piece, which is the universe we live in. So. If there truly were another version of my wife out there, would she be the same person I fell in love with? Would you share the same quirks, the same laughter, the same laugh for me? Would you ask the same question that I would love her if there was another version of her? As I was thinking about these questions, I realized that even in a multiverse full of countless versions of us, there is something unique and irreplaceable about the person we choose to share our lives with. But to be honest, the answer is a bit complex whether another version of us exists. There isn't any direct proof that the multiverse actually exists. Some theories in physics and cosmology hint at the possibility of a multiverse, but we haven't found concrete evidence yet. But then there is one thing I still don't understand. How the fuck can this real life bug happen that I travel 3000 kilometers, walking down a random street in a random city and for a moment I think I've seen my best friend. But he was not my friend, was he? He just looked like my friend. He was just a random look alike among the billions of human beings currently living on earth. Or maybe, just maybe, what if that look alike was actually the version of my best friend from a parallel universe? I know that sounds like science fiction, but some very smart people are asking similar questions. For example, you Everett has come up with the many words interpretation of quantum mechanics, which says that for any quantum event with multiple possible outcomes, the universe splits in two. Well, it means that in one universe I stopped and said hello to my friend's doppelganger and in the other I simply kill him. Imagine that for every decision, every choice you make, the universe branches. In one universe you decide to have a coffee, in another you ask for a tea, and in another you are a piece of shit and you don't like animals. The possibilities are endless and probably makes you think about all the moments in your life when things could have been different. But if there are multiple versions of us, each of us making different choices and living different lives, but does it mean that there is a version of me that never met my wife? Or maybe a version where I did but things didn't work out? And if so, does that make our love any less real in this universe? Honestly, I don't think so. 
I think the choices we make in this life, in this universe, define who we are. And even if there are an infinite number of versions of us out there, none of them live in this life. None of them are living this exact moment. And it makes sense. So to answer my wife's question, would I leave her if there was another version of her? No way, I selected you number 7 and you will stay with me forever. And no matter how many versions of us there are, I chose this one. The best version. Probably the best version. Hey yo, what the fuck? But such questions don't just magically appear in my wife's mind, but in some physicists' mind too. In fact, they are much wider and think it might be possible to travel between these universes. But not now, of course. Sometimes it's even hard to get to McDonald's by bus. So we are still a long way from inventing the technology to do that. And here is the but, because there are theories that wormholes, you know, those strange tunnels through space-time, could be gateways to other universes. So who knows? Maybe one day jumping from one universe to another will be as easy as a player right. So if it were possible, would you visit a world where you made different choices? Hey bro, these lottery numbers are not gonna work, but if I were you, I would or would you visit a world where your life would be completely different? Or would you stay here, content with your choices you have made and the life you are living? It's a fascinating thought experiment. But also a reminder that while it's good to think about the multiverse, it's the universe we live in that really matters. 